Hello, my name is Chris Richards and welcome to my channel. Um, here we go again with another riveting Commodore 64 video. Um, and this time round we are playing Santa's Christmas Caper. Let me give you a bit more light on that. Bear with me. Santa's Christmas Caper or Santa's Xmas Caper on the Commodore 64 and there's your tape, your cassette, Santa's Christmas Capers on the Commodore 64. Let's uh, see if it's installed this time around, eh? Lock! That's too bright. Point is trying to fix it on this blue because the camera just doesn't like it. Okay, Santa's Christmas cake. Pop it into the tape deck, close the drive, and rewind. Doesn't need rewinding. Keyboard, L O A D. Enter. Press play on tape. And now for the waiting game. And while we wait, Yo ho ho, it's Christmas Eve, and the snow is falling slowly to the ground outside. Santa Claus's Christmas pudding has been spiked by the mischievous pixies, so you must race through the night skies on Santa's sleigh, delivering all of the Christmas presents before the children wake up. Ooh. Could be cool. Could be cool. Includes Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Apparently. <laughs> we shall have to see. So, yes. Santa's Christmas caper. wonder if I can... There's too much blue in the background for you to see that. That's the edge of the box. Anyway. Ugh. Let's, uh... Let this one load up and see what happens. Now that we've got some colour on the screen, I can darken it a little. Because it's too bright. There we go. Commodore 64 is quite a dark console, if you know what I mean. Um, I don't know, how can I describe that? You see all these colours on the screen. They look like the, the pinks, purples, blues, whites. You'd imagine they'd be quite bright, but in actual fact they're not. Um... I don't know, it's because, it's because it's running through an RF cable, or an AF cable, but, or an AV lead, sorry, but it's just, it's quite a dark console. I, uh, I've done quite a fair few um, Commodore videos so far, and with all of the games, I've had to drop the brightness on the camera in order to match what I can see, so that you get the best image possible. And my TV is very, very bright. It's a, you know, full HD screen. So it's, it's a very, very bright television. But all of the games come across as dark. And I've set the Commodore 64 up on old televisions. Uh, really, really old ones with the big old tubes. And it comes up as dark on there too. It's, it's just a dark console. So, you know, Santa's outfit there, for example, that's not a bright red. And you can see it now as I can see it. Literally, the colours are exact. And on, you know, as you can see on my TV, it's not a bright red. It's quite a dark red. And in order to match that, I've had to turn the brightness down on my camera so that I can get as close to what I can see for you as possible. Um, and the colours you can see right now are exactly as I can see them looking at my TV. You're not missing out on anything, so to speak. So, uh, yeah, the Commodore is just a dark console. So whenever you get footage, you have to turn the brightness down. Yeah. Sorry, trying to fill the void. Fill the void, because I don't know how long this one takes to load. It could take a few minutes, it could take 10 minutes, it could take 20 minutes, it could be done in a few seconds. So the thing with Commodore games, some of them work straight away. If you get the ones that are cartridge, literally they pop into the back of the keyboard, they load immediately. There's no load times. But with the old tapes like this one, you gotta wait. Sometimes the game loads, you select your character, and then you gotta wait again. 
uh, wrestling as a prime time example of that i have done a rampage tour uh video uh, on my channel and you get exactly that it's it's wwf slash wwe you select whoever you want to use bret hart macho man randy savage um, you select your wrestler and then once you've selected your wrestler it then goes back to this type of screen and does a loading thing again before you go into your next match and between every single match it's quite fast I will admit but between every match you actually get a a squiggly squiggly load screen like this one <laughs> so yeah it's just the waiting game before Santa's Christmas Keeper loads up now I have no idea what to expect um what kind of game we're looking at here i haven't got a clue so this will be fun made by zeppelin games <sighs> at the time quite a big quite a big developer <laughs> <laughs> probably my knees getting old now it's my birthday a couple of days ago so feeling a bit old at the moment <laughs> so we are six and a half minutes into the video still loading strongly as long as it loads before we run out of tape <laughs> This should be fine. La 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 E. No? Da. Ah. <laughs> Got excited there. Played many of these games that have just made me jump randomly because you're waiting for the load screen to end and then all of a sudden it just stops and loud music kicks in and goes dee 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 It makes you jump out your skin if you've got your volume turned up on your DV. That's happened more than once with the Commodore. <laughs> There's sort of no warning before the game starts. <sighs> One minute is silent loading screen, then all of a sudden it's ah! <laughs> it can freak you out at times. And this is one of the longer loading ones. Um, some of the games I've done videos for over the past few days have, have loaded a lot faster than this, uh, ready by like the five minute mark. But we're just gone the well, we're approaching the eight and a half minute mark, and we are still. Loading. So this is quite a big game. <laughs> big in Commodore 64 terms. If you were to get a ROM or an emulator for this title, you'll find it's about as big as something you've sharped off, sharpened off of a pencil. So, you know, a small flake of wood. Ooh, you are Santa Claus. Okay. Tape's still rolling. Normally when the game starts you stop the tape, but the tape is still going. So I'm gonna leave it just in case. Oh no, still going. I'm not gonna try and read that story because I am colourblind and that just looks really really the 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 Ravity Greenland before Santa passed out he did something and preserves Yeah, I can't read that, sorry. Okay. I just pressed a button and it made a different sound, so I'm assuming I've done something right. Ooh. Well, first things first, you can't see it very well, so I'm going to let myself dive just while I adjust the uh, colours. There you go. That's better. Now you can see what I can see. And, uh... Oh. All right. Poof. It's, uh... Well, it's <laughs> a Commodore 64 version of Bullet Hell. It's a side-scrolling shooter. 
but you're throwing Christmas puddings instead of lasers. Um, yeah, literally, yeah. Oh, I went poof. I didn't expect this. To be honest, I didn't know what I was expecting. <laughs> Auto fire would be nice. <laughs> oh, there we go. We have auto fire. Yay! I flew into the roof. <laughs> oh, game over. Okay. So, you literally get a few lives. I'm so glad the auto fire works. Ah. I went explodey. And I went explodey again. Okay, she can't kill the middle ones. Yeah, you really can't kill the little ones. Yeah, I was, I was too busy trying to see what you can collect and what you can't collect. Um, and it seems... There are no collectibles. <sighs> no, collect no collectibles or leveling up or anything like that. You're this dude, you're in a sleigh, survive. <laughs> Do the bullets get faster? No. Do they get more powerful? No. <laughs> Do they get bigger? No. <laughs> Whoa. Um... Yeah, um, I'm going to give it one more go. <sighs> one more go, a better angle so I can see the TV better. Closer to the tele email, so won't do much better, but I'll do a little bit better. Ah. <laughs> I flew into the mountain. Flew into a little horrible thing. And I flew into the mountains again. Uh, 
Yeah. I'm done with that one. So, yeah. This is Santa's Christmas caper. It's a little bullet hell game. <laughs> well, what can I say? It seems I'm not going to get past level one, like a lot of Commodore games. So thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.